Hello out there to you. I'm just going to use a regular old calculator to solve, uh, well, fill in this chart that I've got here. I've got output, uh, I guess we're, where it must be a dry cleaner, we're cleaning suits. We've got MR, which is marginal revenue, TR, which is total revenue, price per suit uh, that we're cleaning, MC is marginal cost, total cost we're given, and then TP is total profit. You might sometimes see that written as pi. Okay, so we'll use a blue pen here. And I'm going to do this. I can do it in Excel, but I'm going to purposely do it just with a calculator. So I'll make the numbers a little bigger here. I guess not. Uh, <laughs> all right. So oh, there we go. I don't really want to see the history, but that's okay. Okay, so um, marginal revenue is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Okay, um, total revenue is price times quantity, and marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. Now. Uh, if you look, the change in quantity here is just going to be from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. So that means it's just one. Okay, so uh, I can, I guess, cheat a little bit. I'm just dividing by one every time. So it's just the change in cost. So we don't care about the marginal cost for the first item, but the or the first suit that we clean. So we go from three to six dollars. So that's three. That's two. 50, uh, that's two, notice these are changing, that's one, that's two, that's 250 again, that's three dollars, and that's five dollars, there we go. And so now I've got my marginal cost column, total revenue, total revenue is price times quantity, so zero times eight is zero, so bear with me as I slowly go through this. This is 15. I'll try to do it in my head. This is 14, 7 times 2. Uh, not that good. Uh, 3 times 650. 1950. Yeah, I could have done that in my head. Oh, well. Uh, 24. 5 times that, uh, 2750. Let's just make sure. So 5 times 550, 2750, still got it. Uh, that's 30. That's 7 times 450, so that's uh, 28 plus, a, uh, plus some more. Oh, it got me. All right, seven times four fifty is thirty one fifty. And finally, thirty two. Okay, I've uh, completed that column. Now I want marginal revenue, so there's no marginal revenue at zero. So total revenue, the change here is fifteen. Um, Total revenue looks like it's falling. Wow, it's negative. Did I do something wrong here? I did do something wrong. There you go. Catch me in my mistake there. Uh, well, when you're not talking to anybody else, there's no, no way to do that. So 750, you're probably been sitting there hung up on that. You say, hey, he made a mistake, man. I make mistakes. It's fine. Um, anyway, so, so that means that this is wrong, too. You need to go back and fix your mistake there. So 750. And then 650, and then 550, and then f oh, I got 450, and then 350, and then uh, 2. And then 150, and then 50 cents. Okay, so now I've got marginal revenue and marginal cost, uh, and then I want the total the total profit for each unit. Okay, so 
for this unit, I'm going to sell nothing. So it's the difference, it's total revenue minus total cost. Okay, so it'd be zero minus three, so it'd be negative three. Okay, those are our fixed costs, three. Um, 750 minus three is, uh, it's actually positive, it's positive 450. Uh, 14 minus 250 is 1150 and then uh, no what am I doing am I doing the wrong uh, making more mistakes here gotta catch me okay uh, it's actually so we actually go this minus this so that's not that it's total cost it's not the marginal cost but when I'm just doing total profit. So it's actually six. It's 750 minus six, so that's 150. Okay, uh, 14 minus 850 is 650. And then a niner and 11. Oh, what do we got there? We got 13. No, 12. Jeez. 12.50. And then 14. 14. And then uh, 12.50. And 8. Okay. Now I've filled in everything, so I've done what I need to do. Uh, question would be probably what what would maximize uh, profit? So you can just look at this column and say uh, which one has the highest, right? And so we've actually got two. We've got 14 here and 14 here. So if we look, we have this term profit maximization, and that's where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So where does that happen? So let's compare, get out the red pen here. We're gonna compare marginal revenue and marginal cost. And so I wanna keep producing as long as marginal revenue exceeds marginal cost. So at this one, it's 350 and that's two. This one is 250 and that's 250. So the profit maximizing quantity is gonna be six. Um, so I'm good there. Most I can make, this is gonna be our profit, 14. Uh, and that's how to do it by hand. So if you're really just looking forward to do it quickly, you can just calculate marginal revenue and marginal cost. You don't have to mess around with this one, but since we had that as a column, I went ahead and did it.